<laughs> Is it recording now? Yeah. Okay. Pina. Okay. Hello. Hi, everybody. I'm Brittany, and this is my husband, Gilly, and this is, Gilly is on the hot seat. <laughs> I'm going to ask Gilly 12 questions, and every question he answers, he has to eat uh, a nugget with hot sauce, and it gets progressively hotter. Yeah. This is purebred idiot hot sauce, and it goes up to one million skull bowl or something like that, whatever. We've seen this online when people interview celebrities, and it's a fun way to get to know the person that's being interviewed, but also test their limits on um, how they can handle spice. Right. So you're in the hot seat. Right, Ready for go. your first question? Oh, do I have to put some stuff on first? <clears throat> As a youth pastor, the new year is up there. actually before you were a youth pastor, who did you want to be and what experiences did you want to create? Um, I wanted to be a teacher. Oh, do I have to eat this first? Yeah, all right. Cheers. Cheers. You can dab, dab a little off if you want. <laughs> Who did you want to be when you weren't before you were a youth pastor? I want to be a teacher. I like working with kids. So I was a substitute teacher at 19 and uh, so that was a really cool, big accomplishment for me. I still don't think any there's been any younger te substitute teachers at high school. So, mm. yeah, it's Wickenburg probably. High. Yeah. Mm. Moving forward, next question. Okay. I wasn't so bad. That no. tasted like like Taco Bell hot sauce. Yeah, yeah, that was mild sauce. Weak. Mm. Delicious. Moving forward, what do you want to accomplish in the next year? Um. Hmm. Cheers. Mm. Oh, bad. That one's not hot at all. I feel tricked. We. All right. So next year, I think I'd like to see my youth group grow. Um, I'd like to be more organized. I'm not always the best at being organized. Um, I, I need to get better at asking other volunteers to help out. Or uh, giving them direction. That's so. Uh, personally, I would like to get better in my own leadership skills, so I can help be a better leader to the people that I work with. Hmm. It's a good one. All right, you ready for number three? Yeah. We didn't want to use wings, so we used chicken <laughs> McNuggets. All right. Chicken. The question is, what do you need to spend less time on? <laughs> Cheers. Um. All right, a little peppery. <laughs> yeah, that was fine. <laughs> that was not bad. All right, um, I do feel a little bit. A little, what, <laughs> what do you want to spend less time on? <laughs> um, well, I had less time on. Yeah. Probably overthinking. Mm -hmm. I, I get very anxious, and I think. I think things uh, excessively. Uh, I've got stupid, uh, we don't talk about Bruno songs stuck in my head. <laughs> Can't stop thinking about it. It's like, uh, so I would like to be less obsessive, maybe uh, less uh, anxious. Like I, I'm always thinking about what other people are thinking. And, and uh, so I have a hard time being in the moment and experiencing in the moment things. Hmm. Always one step ahead. Yeah. Okay. Oh. We're on number four. Right. That, one's a little... that one's peppery. Yeah, that one's... <coughs> Not bad though. Well, All we, right. should, we should be saying what this, this is. What um, is number four? Number four is jalapeno, habanero, habanero powder, and ghost pepper. So I, they just progressively add an extra ingredient. Yeah. I think. <laughs> All right, so the question is what is good enough right now? Hmm. Elaborate. We talk about needing to change things and make things new. Just for today, what is good just as it is? Maybe like what you're grateful for in this moment, so you wouldn't change it right now. Grateful for, my, for you and my kids, uh, my family. I think that's, I'm always grateful for that. That is uh, our health, you know, 
I just reached, I just turned 40, so I have to, she's forced me to go to the doctor, which I'm not looking forward to. I haven't been to the doctor in years, so. You know, 2022. Because I have the peak physical health condition right now. 2022 is health is wealth, so. <laughs> All right. We're was, number five. I feel like number four yeah, that was less than number three. Yeah. Bring on the ghost pepper. I'm not intimidated. All right. What's, what's the added ingredient in? Number, what's this, number five? The added ingredient to this is ghost pepper and ghost pepper powder. So additional ghost pepper. Ghost pepper, more ghost pepper. Okay. Uh, according to you, what does success look like? Uh, Cheers. Bro, I'm living the dream. I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> My life is great. I have, I have the best job. I have the best wife. I have the best kids. Like, I, uh, we're trying to buy a house. So that's our thing. Seems pretty successful. Um, for real. I think, I think a happy family. Oh. <laughs> Hit my throat. I think a happy family, and uh, I don't really value success as money. I think um, that's, I think money's overrated, and um, I mean, we all need it, but. Mm. That's true. Um, that's pretty good. <laughs> this one is ominous for a reason. Is it worth the effort? Uh, so I mean, I, I guess you could say that that's about anything. Ooh, this one's got scorpion pepper in it. Oh, sweet. Well, we are in Arizona, so. I'm a little nervous about this one. I'm kind of blasting through. Go home. Do you think it's worse if you put it hot sauce down? Like what? on the tongue first? Yeah, yeah. Should we do that? That's, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. Is it worth the effort? Yeah, I guess you depend on um, what's the why, I guess. So what is what is the why? And and I think that'll, I don't think it was much worse. I, I think that one tastes very Tapatio. <laughs> what do we got, six left? Oh. <laughs> I think, I guess, I guess the answer is, part of the answer is, is what is your, what is your why? What, do, what are you trying to accomplish and why? And uh, for me, it's very easy to kind of forget about what you're talking about, or like, uh, like to lose track of what your why is, and then it, all of a sudden you start to to wander. I think after that, you know. Mm. Good. Does that makes sense. All right. <sighs> my nose feels a little bit runny. My gums are not happy with this. I don't think the hot sauce in the tongue. I mean, my tongue is definitely burning, but. Uh, I mean, this is number seven. What is it? scorpion? This, I'm gonna guess scorpion powder. Scorpion pepper powder. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I mean, it's burning, not, but I haven't had to take a drink yet. Have you? I just had some water. Oh. Mm. The question is, what is currently wearing you down? Um. Besides the ghost pepper scorpion powder. Well, if this is gonna be, I'm gonna pay for this later, but um. Uh, I think turning 40 was kind of like that was that was a little bit rough for me. I did not, I was not anticipating. I did not, I anticipated it, but I was not looking forward to turning 40. Uh, I think my weight, obviously, if you're trying to be literal. <laughs> Actual uh, weighing. Yeah, um, uh, but I think that's, <laughs> I think you think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. oh. The salivary glands are participating now. Oh. It's, 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 it's a little bad every once in a while. All right, what's the number new? eight? We are adding Carolina Reaper. Oh. oh, okay. I'm a little nervous now. It is a different color. So this okay. challenge came up because she challenged me, said I couldn't handle it. I said she couldn't handle it. We have milk if you need something. <laughs> Thank you. It is definitely. <laughs> now my nose is running. In the last year, what have you learned? that will benefit you in the coming year? Trust God. Mm. So, <laughs> so <clears throat> last year, Zoe had her heart surgery. And uh, I mean, you, you're really good at putting it in perspective of what I need to worry about the most and, and being so stressed out about her surgery and just so worried. And then, 
all of a sudden the surgery happened and then it's like oh that went a lot easier than I, I thought like I put a lot of fear into the anticipation of this thing mm. and then uh, and then but it was really relying on my friends and God that I think uh, really brought us through that one it's a great answer I'm proud of you I might need a little bit of milk please uh, Wimp. my taste buds are dead I am do you want one with ice or no ice? Uh, I don't know. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> just a, like a sh that's enough. I don't. I'm gonna. I thought about getting you just creamer and just bringing coffee. Oh, coffee. actually, it's gone. That works really good. Ten out of ten. I'm going all the way. Um. Let's see. What is oh. something? What is something that inspires you? Uh, oh, she thick. Let's see. Number nine is we are adding Carolina Reaper powder. Powder. We just keep adding. All right. Something that inspires mm, no, me. No, you can't answer yet. Okay. What inspires you? What inspires me probably is. Um, I think watching watching kids grow grow up, and uh, I, I I think watching the kids innocence and enjoy their life, I think that makes me remember to. That's what I try to focus on. I had somebody tell, today tell me that oh, said that I am just a really big kid, and I am, and, and and I think the the biggest reason why I am like that is because I hang out with a bunch of kids, and. Um, keeps me young and uh, enjoying life because they're very innocent and they just they love life and just for just for face value you know what I mean they're not worried about bills and this and that and the other thing they're just living life and having fun that's a really good answer <laughs> <laughs> okay we are on number 10 we're almost there people we are at 1 million Scoville <sighs> 1 million Scoville extract Ugh. it's in the back of my throat <laughs> I'm proud of us. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of Scoville. Okay. What is it that you could spend all day doing? Um, if I get into it. Wait, don't answer yet. But. Oh God. <laughs> um, it burns the flesh. The flesh it burns. Um, if I start, oh God. <laughs> if I start doing um, video games, I love Red Dead Redemption because I'm a cowboy. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh. I'm a cowboy. I like oh, to pretend. But Brittany knows that if I start playing a video game, whatever genre of video game I'm playing, that's what we will watch in movies and shows. So I was playing Red Dead Redemption. Then I made her watch all of my old westerns. And... And uh, Western movies. It was a lot of fun. We watched Willie Nelson and Barbarossa. Uh huh. I'm listening. True Grit. You're doing it. Okay. <laughs> we only got two more. This is this is fine. I'm going all the way. Okay. Here's a good one. All right. What is this? Just is... oh. This is. It gets thicker and thicker as it gets. <coughs> oh. Oh. Uh. This is. Two times one million Scoville so that, extract. So is twice two, as much as that one. So is it two million? Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I can't breathe. When my tongue <sighs> touches the roof of my mouth, it's just, on I, fire. Okay. Where are we on the map? Are we there yet? We're in. Oh, don't answer. Ooh. You have to. Okay. Where are we on the map? Oh God, sweet Jesus. Huh. Well, <laughs> oh. We're in Wickenburg, Arizona, heaven on earth. That's what Pastor Greg would say. Oh. Oh. <laughs> in terms of your goals, Oh. where are we? Oh, I thought you meant literally geographically. Uh. Um, uh. <coughs> I, uh, I'm having a hard time focusing. 
Uh, where are we? Uh, <laughs> where we, are we right now? We're in my backyard. Uh, we have one left. Oh. oh, where are we? What was the question again? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're on the last one. This is three times one million scope. Oh, this went out really. Who oh. was there? <sighs> okay. okay. What advice do you have for yourself oh. a year ago? If you could talk to yourself a year ago. Oh, it's ago. creeping back up, man. Hurry. <laughs> Last one. What's your advice? Hurry to go. Mm -hmm. Before the surgery, you're a newlywed. Trust God. Rely on God. Uh, keep your friends close. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about 40. It's not that bad. <sighs> <laughs> um. My tears are burning. I uh, I don't know. I can't really focus on a question right now. That has been 12 questions brought to you by a purebred idiot hot sauce. I know why it's called that now. Oh, it's not even enjoyable right now. Thank you for your time. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. Till next time. Till next time. I I, I'll to... interview her next time. I'm gonna go blow my nose. Uh, Don't uh, touch your face. Uh, what do you always say? Peace. <laughs> <laughs>